Managerial accounting is all about decisions. Making good decisions requires having good information and information that you can understand and use. To be able to do that, we need to first understand the different costs that are used in managerial accounting. A cost of a business can be categorized in a variety of ways. For example, a cost can be direct or indirect. If a cost is a direct cost, this is something that can be easily traced to a particular item or cost object. A cost object is anything we want to track costs for. If a cost is indirect, it cannot be easily tracked to an item or cost object. Let's assume we work for a furniture company, the So Snugly Sofa Company. They make and sell chairs, sofas, and tables. We want to determine the cost to make a sofa. This means our cost object is a sofa. One of the costs to make a sofa is the amount of fabric used to cover it. This is a direct cost. We would know how much fabric goes into making each sofa. Another cost involved with making a sofa is wood glue. We nail our frame together and then use a dab of glue here and there for good measure as an additional reinforcement. It is not easy to track how much glue we use on each sofa. This is an indirect cost. Another example would be the employee who is involved with actually making the sofa. The person who puts the frame together, dabs the glue, and applies the fabric. The cost of this employee is certainly a cost of making the sofa, and we can easily track how long they spend making the sofa and how much we pay them for making the sofa. This is a direct cost. The person who supervises the entire factory and all the employees making the sofas is also a cost of making the sofa. However, this cost is not easy to track for each individual sofa. This person did not personally make any of the sofas, but they are part of the overall sofa making process. The cost of employing this supervisor needs to be included in the cost of the sofa, but this is an indirect cost. Manufacturing companies can also classify costs as manufacturing costs or non-manufacturing costs. Manufacturing costs are all the costs that are involved with actually making the product. There are three types of manufacturing costs, direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. The first two are direct costs, and the last is an indirect cost. Think about our sofa example. The fabric on the sofa is a direct cost. In terms of these three manufacturing costs, it is direct materials. We also talked about another material that goes into making the sofa, the wood glue. While this is part of overall materials, we classified this as an indirect cost. Therefore, this is not included in direct materials, but is rather included in manufacturing overhead as an indirect material. We also talked about two different workers at the company, the employee who made the sofa and the employee who supervises the factory. The employee who makes the sofa is direct labor. The employee who doesn't actually make the chair but supervises the factory where the sofas are made is indirect labor. The supervisor is still involved with manufacturing the sofa, so the cost of employing this individual is a manufacturing cost. It's just an indirect cost. This would be categorized as manufacturing overhead. We can also take these three manufacturing costs and categorize them as prime or conversion. Prime costs are direct manufacturing costs. This would be direct materials and direct labor. Conversion costs are the cost required to convert direct materials into a finished product. This would be direct labor and manufacturing overhead. Be careful, direct labor is both a prime and a conversion cost. These two classifications of prime and conversion are not separate or mutually exclusive. They both contain one component that is the same. Non-manufacturing costs include all the other costs necessary to run the business. These can be divided into two groups, selling costs and general or administrative costs. Assume the furniture company has several storefronts that sell their furniture to customers. The employees that work in the store are non-manufacturing costs. These individuals were not involved with making the product, but rather with selling the product. The cost of these employees are selling costs. 
The president of the company is also a cost of the company, but is not involved in making the product either. Therefore, the cost of the president's salary is a non-manufacturing cost. As the president is also not directly involved in selling the product, these costs would be considered a general or administrative cost. Manufacturing costs can also be referred to as product costs. These are all the costs of making the product. These costs remain in a company's inventory while the product is being made and until the product is sold. Once the product is sold, these costs become an expense. However, these are not all of the costs it takes to run a business. All the other costs, those non-manufacturing costs, are also called period costs. These costs are not included in inventory, but instead are immediately expensed. And lastly, you want to make sure your costs are relevant to your decision. If they aren't, they don't need to be considered. They'll just confuse the process and possibly lead you to a bad decision. Eliminate any irrelevant costs from the decision-making process.